GM and welcome to part four of the Monet testnet series. We're gonna take a look at a few new platforms where we can get in a lot of transactions and also maybe qualify for their airdrop if they decide to release a token as well, such as Monet themselves. Since this is part four, there's already three parts out there where I explain what Monad is, how to get testnet tokens, how to get even more testnet tokens if the official faucets don't work. Right now, actually, it's working again, so you might want to get some there. I show you how to trade some meme coins, a lot of different platforms. We talk about Fantasy Top and how to set up your teams there. I explain the complete platform. Here it's the trending platform on the Monet Testnet side. I show you how to trade. You can use this here. So if you haven't done so, make sure to check out the last three videos in this series. And today we're gonna take a look at four different platforms where we can get in more transactions yeah, let's just dive in. As always, all the links are down in the description, so you can go down there and visit the websites from there. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. And now let's go. We're gonna start with Magma Staking. This is a liquid staking protocol, which is live on the Monet Testnet. And what we can do is we can get some Gmon and then also unstake it First of all, as always, I will go through this step by step. We can click on connect wallet. We're gonna connect our Monet wallet. We're gonna connect this. Network switch to Monet testnet. And now I'm gonna swap one Mon to one Gmon and stake this. We're gonna sign the transaction and boom, successfully staked. What you can do now is you can unstake the whole thing and we can do this like this, but let's just leave half of the mon in there. We're gonna click unstake, sign and successfully unstaked. We can also click here to add Gmon to the wallet so we can actually see it. And that's already it for this website. We staked it and then we unstaked it. There's not much more we can do right now, but those are two transactions already and we interacted with a completely new platform here. Let's move on to the next platform, which is a priori. And this is also a liquid staking protocol. We are gonna go in here, connect our wallet as you can see, everything is pretty straightforward in today's video, not much complicated stuff to do. Also, we're gonna go in here, stake one mon, and then we will receive APR mon, stake this. Confirm. And here we go, deposit completed. And now we got one APR mon. We can then go here to withdrawals. We can then unstake it. The pool isn't live yet. So most of those platforms are really basic right now. We can only stake the mon and get the liquid staking token. And that's about it. As you can see here, the unstaking also takes roughly 10 minutes. So be aware of that. Then we're gonna request the withdrawal. Confirm and then it takes some time and then you can actually claim this. We're gonna come back to this later, but what you're gonna do is just claim all once the 10 minutes are over, but we're gonna get back to this later. The third platform we're gonna take a look at is Ambient on Monet. What we're gonna do here is connect wallet again. We want to switch to the Monad testnet. Here we go. What we can do here is we can swap. I clicked on swap for this and we have different options here. Let's trade some Mon for ETH. For example, 
five mon for some ETH. Let's confirm this. Signy transaction, as you can see, we get a lot of transactions in today as well. Now we got some ETH. What we can do then, we can also use the trade here and put in some limit orders, for example. But what we want to do is we're going to go into pool and we're going to pool some ETH and some MON together. We want it to be balanced. 10% is fine. It's all good because this is just testnet tokens. And let's click on max combined. Okay, this is too much. Now it works. It, it thought I had more ETH. So let's go approve the ETH so I can spend it. Click on confirm. Yet another transaction. And then we confirm that we submit the liquidity. Yet another transaction in and here we go. And I will just leave this in there. I won't take it out, but you can of course also take this out. This way you can go in here every couple of days, maybe do a swap um, between different coins. As you can see here, the meme coins that are on the Monad testnet site that we swapped through Uniswap here. This is testnet.monad.xyz. Those three here, they also have them here. So you could also swap around with those. You could get some USDT, some wrap monad and so on. So you can just do some swaps from time to time and use ambient. Also maybe pool some cryptocurrencies, uh, provide some liquidity. That's also nice. So this was the third platform. And as the fourth platform, we're going to take a look at Bima Money. This one here is a bit advanced. What we're going to do now is connect our wallet. Yes, connect. They want us to add the bit layer testnet. Sign the transaction. And then we're going to go down here and click on Monet testnet. This is important. Otherwise you do it on another testnet. So definitely go in here, connect. Then you need to add the testnet from them to your wallet, but then make sure to switch the network to Monet testnet. Once you switch to Monet testnet, you click here on BMBTC, make sure that this is correct, but currently there's only BMBTC in here, then get LSTs. Okay, so it seems like the faucet for the LST is currently not working. It says my daily limit is reached, but I didn't get any BMBTC. So it might take some time. I'm going to go in here and show you the steps anyways, even though I don't have the LSTs right now, how you would go about this once the faucet works again. It did work yesterday. So yeah, might be just a bad timing, but I wanted to show you this anyway. So you click on get LSTs, then you will get the tokens for this. Then you can click on Vols and here you click on Deposit. And if you have some balance here, then you can click on Max and Max use this. And you can mint some USBD tokens for this. Then you click on Mint and then you got USBD. You can then go one step further. Once you got the USBD, click on Lend. And then you can supply some USBD in this vault here. So you got a lot of transactions in if this works. Currently the faucet isn't working. Probably they will refill this very soon. So it might be already working once I post this video. You definitely know how to do this now on Bima Finance as well. Now let's go back to a priori because we wanted to claim the unstaked tokens. As you can see, it's available within one minute. I'm going to go 
to this in a sec. As you can see, it's available in less than a minute. So we should be ready anytime soon. And here we go. This is ready to claim. We can click on it, click on claim, and then we click on sign yet another transaction and boom, claim completed. We got the Mon back. As you can see, we lost a little bit of Mon through this process due to some fees, but yeah, we definitely got some transactions in. And since this is testnet, it wasn't any real money put in here. So to recap, we got four more platforms now in this video. There will be plenty of others in the next videos as well. So make sure to subscribe. Also the next part of my abstract mainnet series with weekly updates is coming tomorrow. I got an update on Athena who are building their own blockchain together with Securitize. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of those updates. And that all being said, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.